I just think that healthy rivalries are when both teams are really good and play that well in front of that kind of crowd. And it's, it's such a great rivalry when you're playing a Mississippi State team that's nationally ranked, uh, a team that's trying to gain national respect. And what a great atmosphere in Humphrey Coliseum. Uh, you know, we talked about it, about our team going to go through pockets of adversity against good teams like this. And uh, these guys have heard us say it since we've taken the job the first day. The toughness things that we go through in practice hopefully builds you for these kind of, of moments. So hats off to, to Mississippi State. They're going to a lot of games in our league. Ben's doing a great job. So proud of our team, though. Proud of our fans, proud of our players. And uh, it was just a great, great win for us. Kermit, it looks like Blake has been more aggressive offensively the last few games. Do you see that? And what do you attribute that to? He's a little too aggressive in those dribble threes in the very end, right, Blake? <laughs> yeah. No, he's, he, he puts in so much work, Paris. I mean, Brian can tell you. I mean, three guys are getting the gym, Dom's a fourth. Blake's there every day early, every day early. I mean, he's, you just hear him. When he gets in the gym, he runs in full speed. That's just kind of how he's built. And so good things happen to guys. That, that work like he does, and what a great you know national TV against I think one of the best four men in college basketball and Holman. I mean Blake showed up in a huge way. There, there, there was a there was a period in the late first half. I think you guys got down ten. Terrence had his third foul. Um, it looked like they were really kind of claiming uh, the, the game a little bit. What what changed from there that let y'all get back in it? I, you know I thought that I, I just told Clark on an interview uh, that I thought the last probably six minutes was the key to the whole game because it was ten. We were kind of spiraling a little bit. Mississippi State had momentum. TD got his third. Uh, and then I just thought we kind of held tight. Devontae Shooter made some big plays in the end of that in that first half. We finally went to a zone and got him stopped somewhat. We just kind of stopped the bleeding and got into halftime. Because look, we looked at the stats. We're getting out rebounding. They're up in 50-50 balls. They're shooting 50%, and we're only down two. So we felt good in half. Brian, you hurt your shoulder early. Then you hit the go-ahead layup there at the end. What, what kind of was the pain like for you, and how were you able to battle through it? Um, you know, uh, it was severe pain to begin with. But in a game like that, you know, adrenaline takes over. And, uh, you know, while I was on the court, you know, no pain for me. You sent him in pretty quick, too, after after he got back. I mean, what was the report you got? Yeah, I mean, he got it. It was legal, too. It was legal. It was a good, hard legal screen. And he just hit shoulder to shoulder. And I was just so happy when they said that was available, you know, and so it just shows a lot for his testimony, his character and his toughness to come back, you know, and, and play and then continue to play when he came back and it didn't go as great for him. He didn't make a lot of shots, but just play. And that's just what experienced guards, experienced players, you got to draw from those guys. So that was one of the key, key elements of us winning the game. That's the second road game you guys have run pretty good offense down the stretch. How much of that is Devontae? A lot. It really is. I mean, he, he, he's just, he's a stabilizer on our team. Uh, he, he runs sets, he's so unselfish, you know, and he gets us into what we're trying to do. And, and these guys can tell you, I mean, we got Brian and TD and Blake, all these guys, but, you know, Devontae, he plays most valuable player minutes every game for us. Blake, I know you say you're not a freshman, but in a game like this, you took a lot of big shots. Was was that just, you felt like you, you had to for this team or you felt, you just felt the hot hand? Uh, I was just kind of feeling it and my teammates looking for me too. I mean, in the huddles. Every time I come in the huddle, they tell me keep shooting it, breathe. All all the players would tell me, you know, and keep feeding it to me, and they would find me open. So I was feeling it, and they, you know, they, they know I was feeling it too. So they'll give give it to me to shoot. You seem like, to really enjoy yourself in this first experience of the rivalry game. How kind of was it for you? It was super fun. I love basketball, and this is a great basketball atmosphere, and I I was loving every part of it. Blake, obviously, you were playing with a lot of passion out there, you know, celebrating after the threes, and then there were a couple technical fouls in there, too. How hard was it to straddle the line between passion and not overdoing it? You know it's what I mean? it's fine. Of... Maybe I did overdo it a little bit. I mean, at the end of the day, I just got to keep playing. The rest go make their calls, and I'm just going to adjust to what the rest are calling, so it's okay. We, we deserve it. I, I apologize, because I, I don't, I hadn't had player technicals in a long, long, long time. K.J. Buffin's a freshman, and he doesn't need to say one word about nothing. And Bruce Stevens, he, he deserved his technical. He looked at the bench, you know, and it's a rivalry game. But still, I mean, you, you got to compose yourself, you know. So that's uh, that's on me because that's something that, that has never happened in a long, long time. We're going to get that one fixed. Kirby, what did you think of how Blake went to the glass down the stretch? Looks like he grabbed two to three pretty big rebounds. Good two-hand rebounds because Mississippi State's a good rebounding team. Holman and Dew and then Weatherspoon, they're good rebounding players. and. And in these games, I mean, it's just kind of grown man rebounds. It's two-hand rebounds, not tap rebounds, and he did. He went and got some good balls in traffic late. Bree, can you talk us through that last drive to take the lead back? Um, well, uh, they hit a big three, and um, I think 
we ran a play to get it inside to Bruce. Uh, Bruce was getting doubled and he threw the ball out to me. Team spaced out and I kind of saw a uh, player guarding me. He was kind of looking behind for a screen. I just attacked him, wide open layup. I mean, that's, that's the best look you want to get at the end of the game. So shot went in, we played well defensively, closed out the game with free throws and great win for the team. Brian, how nice was it? I know that Auburn game wasn't your best game, but to have some really big shots when you needed it down the stretch. What, what changed for you this game, you think? Um, just letting the game come to me. I know I got uh, hurt in the beginning, but um, watching the film coach in the Auburn game, I was kind of forcing a lot of my shots. And uh, more so in this game, I, my, play, my teammates were getting me open. I'm taking better shots. Um, Bruce um, was extending on the three-point line, making shots, so it opened up my drives. And, you know, you just got to credit coaching the system and getting us uh, really good looks. Brian, you typically have had good games in this rivalry. Why, why do you like playing this game? Um, I know how important it is for the university, and it's also really important to me just because, um, you know, I go here and uh, me and the uh, uh, other players on Mississippi State, we've been playing each other for a long time. So it's just a great rivalry. Every time we come out, we want to compete and we want to win as best as possible. So, um, you know, it's a state game and we want to bring the win back to Ole Miss. Kermit, how, were there any weird moments for you and – just talk about coming back. Yeah, you know, not not until I walked out of the tunnel with about four to go before the tip. You know, it just because I hadn't been there, I hadn't been in Humphrey in a long time. I really haven't. But you know, some things run through your mind as, as a guy, a kid who grew up in this building, and uh, it, it was a little strange, you know, early. But obviously, when the ball tips, you know, then it's you're just coaching like mad for your for your players. And and, and like I said, you know, it's amazing how. Good Lord, he, he kind of puts you in, in places that you should be. And uh, my path is exactly right for Ole Miss. It's a special place. We absolutely love it. And uh, I'm at the place that I need to be at and uh, but have so much respect for Mississippi State and, and their program.